90% of Americans consume some form of caffeine daily. It's no wonder it's America's favorite drug. But how do Americans consume so much caffeine? Well, let's take a look inside the average refrigerator. Chocolate bars contain caffeine, soda contains caffeine, coffee has caffeine, and even some forms of medicine have caffeine in it. As we can see, caffeine is in a lot of various products, but what does it do exactly when it's in our bodies? When caffeine is consumed, in this case, through a can of soda, it is absorbed through the stomach and into the bloodstream. From there, the caffeine makes its way to the brain where it begins to show its impact. Normally, the brain produces adenosine. Adenosine attaches to the receptors, causing the nerve cells to slow down. When the nerve cells slow down, you feel drowsy and tired. Caffeine also attaches itself to the receptors, blocking the adenosine from attaching. The nerve cells don't slow down and in fact cause more nerve cell activity. All of this activity causes the pituitary gland to release adrenaline, causing your pupils to dilate, your breathing tubes to open up, your heart to beat faster, blood flow to increase to the muscles, the liver releasing more sugar into the bloodstream for extra energy, muscles tightening up and are ready for action. We've seen caffeine in various products and we've seen how caffeine can affect our body. But what do real people think about caffeine? What is caffeine? It's a drug that makes you more alert. It's a drug. A drug. A drug. <laughs> coffee. Ready to get coffee. Well, coffee. coffee. Uh, doesn't it give you energy? Yeah. I think it gives energy. I don't know. I drink coffee sometimes, but it doesn't give me no energy. Energy. Caffeine is high energy pizzazz, being able to do all of the activities of the day and not feeling tired. Oh, yeah. Going from morning to the end of the night, cleaning the house, taking care of the kid, <laughs> taking care of the husband. Yeah. The whole thing. That's caffeine. What? Definition of caffeine is almost like an amphetamine. It's a sugar that speeds you up. And to me, it's not good for your body. Do you think manufacturers add caffeine to their products in order to get people hooked? I'm going to take it to them. I've heard it. Yeah. Do you think it's true? I'm not sure. I've been reading articles about it. But. I've never thought about that, but possibly. possibly. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes. And that's why I'm addicted to Pepsi. I love it. There's no caffeine in 7-Up. No, because I think they proactively label Mountain Dew. Everyone knows what they're going to get when they do that. But there is a Mountain Dew yeah. over here. So I don't think they're diluting you. I think they're just saying this is, has more caffeine. Do you want it or do you not? Are you addicted to caffeine? Of all the addictions out there, that's probably one of your better ones to have. <laughs> They're addicted, you think? They're hooked, yeah. Do you think you're addicted then? Yes. Yeah, you are? Yes. Do you think it's a very addictive drug? Actually, yeah. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, when I stopped drinking coffee when I was pregnant, I had a headache for five weeks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because <laughs> it didn't taste good. It was week 7 to week 12. <laughs> I'm probably here. Like without it? Now that I think function. about it, I'm probably here. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to function without it. Do you consume too much caffeine a day? Yes. Yeah. I drink a Pepsi a day. I love caffeine, especially when it's dark. And then I drink a Starbucks. Oh, every yeah, morning. only Starbucks. Okay. No, I only uh -huh. drink it in the morning. Okay. No. no. Just the right amount. My God, I just drink so much caffeine. Do you try and avoid caffeine? No, no, no. No, I just drink it. I don't really care. Out of my way? No, it's just a, it's a daily thing, so I really can't avoid it, so. No, actually, I've lost my taste for it, though. So I've, I've been drinking tea, which is really odd. I used to drink a ton of coffee. Avoid it! It works! <laughs> Why would I avoid it? Would I avoid you? You guys are great! No way! Yes, I never drink soda. I only occasionally drink coffee. Even when I drink tea, I'm pretty careful about what I drink. Well, I don't use caffeine, so I, I, I avoid the product. Um, no, I normally just stay away from them in general. Because I don't drink it. I'm a water person. Yeah. Eight glasses of water, caffeine free. Yeah. <laughs> if caffeine was being introduced for the first time today, do you think the FDA would approve it? No, and I don't think aspirin would have been approved yet. Oh, yeah? yeah? They are both in the same category. Uh, with all the restrictions they have, probably not. 
because the people want it. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they, yeah, they push the FDA off, off, the, off the map, but they yeah. would say they want it. Probably because they, it's not to where it is a drug, so they know that they can put it in products that people buy more of and they'll profit off of it by allowing it. Yeah, they approve all the other drugs. I mean, like, all the sort of, like, antidepressant drugs like that, they approve all that stuff that's way more addictive than caffeine. Yes, I do. I, I do because you're very alert. You can have the cars. You can do more than anything. We eliminate the alcohol, but to the caffeine because you can see here better than ever. Yes, why not? Why not? I don't know. No, because it's a drug. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, we would hope. And we would protest if not. Would you? Wouldn't we protest? Uh, we, I we would love so protest. So we learned a lot about caffeine today and how it affects your body. If you'd like to learn more information, please check out the How Stuff Works website listed below. Wait a second, I just found a coffee shop. Oh yeah? That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> caffeine rules! Woo! Okay. <laughs> well, I need it, I'm high all the time with myself. You know, I'm a natural high. Not high, I'm high. Pops does not have anything to do with caffeine. Yes, they do. I'm dead. Oops, my bad. Oh, sorry, I cussed. But anyway. Bleep that. Bleep.